It is 11 a.m. and it is time now for the Peter Channel 11 a.m. news report on this. Tuesday morning, August 16, 2016, I am Peter Wiggins and I your news and I. Donald J. Trump, the Republican presidential nominee, discussed the rise of global terrorism in the Islamic State and the necessary of combating it. Russian warplanes have conducted missions over Syria from an airbase in Iran, the first time a major power has done so since the Islamic Revolution there in 1979. Shane Miller of Bahamas dived over the finish line since said was intentional win gold head of the United States, Alison Felix in the women's 40 meter final on Monday night in Rio games. Hillary Clinton White House transition team is officially launched according to campaign former Interior Secretary and Colorado Senator Ken Sazar will chair the team. According to Edna, it is quitting 70% of Obamacare markets. In a speech which it did not the Islamic State for its barbaric practice, Philippine President Rodrigo Guterte had given a stern warning to the extremist group saying he can be 10 times more brutal. Three weeks after the Tepic Coup in Turkey, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan called on citizens to gather at the Inkabai Parade Grounds in Istanbul. Black flags still drape the city and the terror continues from IEDS, but the biggest question are about what comes next. In Manabu, Syria, after the liberation of so-called Islamic State, the city of North Syria remains draped. Fifteen prisoners at Guantanamo Bay have been transferred to the Europe and Arab Emirates, the largest single release of the Obama administration. Governor John Bell Edwards expected to give the media an update on the flood at about 11 a.m. on Tuesday, but here's some of what we know about Louisiana flood of 2016 as of now. More than 11,000 people were in shelters on Monday night. In Milwaukee, the sister Sylvie Smith, the man fairly shot by a Milwaukee police officer over the weekend, is speaking about the alleged relationship between her brother and the officer who shot him. Pennsylvania State Attorney General Kathleen Kane has been found guilty of perjury and obstruction, prompting and renewal calls for a resignation. In Seoul, the 12 North Korean waitresses who defected as South in April have been released from Seoul's custody, as South Korean government officials said on Tuesday. Rukla, Poland. A team of 35 researchers began digging in Poland for a long ruby underground train which may, have, may not have been laden with Nazi gold. Seoul, North Korea continued to condemn the United States on Tuesday, calling the country an empire of evil that was built over the corpses of the indigenous peoples. Zimbagana City, Philippines. The Philippine Army sees the last struggle with Abu Saif military group in Tipo Tipo Basilian after one month of fighting, military officials said. Istanbul. Turkey, Turkish police raided about 51 businesses Tuesday and are looking to arrest 120 business executives in a crackdown following the July coup attempt. Milwaukee. Milwaukee was relatively calm overnight as officials imposed a 10 p.m. curfew for two years of two nights of violent protests. Mass in Wisconsin, the pilot of an ultra light aircraft died, presently said, after the plane crashed and it caught fire in the Jefferson County, Wisconsin. Washington, UPIC voted daily track professor 12 release today shows Hill cut the lead in the long by 5.8 percentage points. Big Sur, Florida. Hazardous trees from the Sabrina's fire in Northern California typically forced the closure of Highway 1. Las Vegas, the Rivera Hotel and Casino Monte Carlo Tower was reported early Tuesday in Las Vegas under controlled demolition by dynamite. Tallahassee, Florida, the ACL filed a lawsuit against Florida and accusation of state men's prison and refused to provide medical treatment to transgender women. Youngstown hosts Donald Trump's latest commander in chief or a politics runner. The blows just keep coming for Donald Trump. The Republican nominee was hit by a new poll on Tuesday that shows him badly lagging in the crucial state and swing state of Virginia, underscoring the backslide that Trump's campaign can't seem to stop. Magus Hahn, the Democratic governor of New Hampshire, who endorsed Hillary Clinton, refused to answer three times in interview with a CNN, whether or not the former Secretary of State was honest. Hartford, Connecticut. Connecticut State Police saved a hundred person with an opiate overdose reversal drug knock in this past weekend. The U.S. cost of living was a little change in July. As time's subdued inflationary pressures will give Federal Reserve policy makers reason to keep interest rates low. More often than not, something needs to be done. That's especially true for the mining giant BHP built in BBL 2.41, the 
Mother is trying to keep shareholders happy in the trenches by disasters or operational challenges. The Federal Reserve could potentially raise interest rates as soon as next month. The New York Fed President William Dudley said it warned investors that they are the rest of it likely to increase in borrowing costs. Factory production in the U.S. grew at the fastest pace in a year last month as mining rebounded and utility had climbed. Data from the Federal Reserve showed in Washington. New York, a long running in positive direction of oil prices. Was it about early Tuesday after U.S. data shows a little dough moving in the world's biggest economy? Edinburgh, Scotland, a low cost of doing this. Business that shows selling out means operations can gain one minute at the same time that observes as the observes as can energy said. London. London listed Federal Petroleum Center started an exploration program in the North Sea with its range of partners as a region stages production gains. Lunkaping Sweden. Sweden South is opening a new office in Denmark as it continues to expand its high tech defense and security communication business in the country. Alright, look at that. The Dow. The Dow down 54 put 71 points at 18.581.34. SP5 down 8 points at 76 points at 2,081.39. And Nasdaq down 26 points at 99 points at 5,235.03. China has successfully launched the world's first quarter enabled satellite. State media said it was carried on a rocket which blasted off the Jukon satellite launch center in China's North Force early on Tuesday. Said it's been in the exploration of Vessel Nautilus, a remotely operated vehicle spotted 73 of Jordan recently. Just off the coast of California, I got 3,000 feet below surface what they saw would be a quickly odd cartoon octopus. A recent analyst of data from scientists in Hungary may reveal new kind of particle that is not predicted by the center model physics possibly pointing to a fifth fundamental force in nature. A lab experiment that has led to support one of Stephen Hawking's most important predictions about black holes, Professor Jeff Sanner simulated the black hole in a super cold state of a matter called a Bose Einstein considered. In her version of the strain, Miss Data and affiliate Peter Hotez, he has Dana in the Baylor College of Medicine. Women who take S3 during the pregnancy are more likely to have a hyperactive child, according to a new study. Prenatal exposure to medication was associated with a higher risk of having children with emotional behavioral issues. If you're excited, regularly too much children can be still be bad if you're harder. Laden cardiologist group warns. For just more than two years, Nigerian health officials have been selling in a country free of the paralyzing effect of the polio virus. All right, look at that new, oh, Peter Channel News time is 11.07 and it's time now for a sports sport. Dang, the Boston Red Sox will be taking on the Baltimore Orioles game time, 7.05 p.m. down in Baltimore. Rear station Simone Bells felt her red foot slip in her lift as she reached down to steady herself in a balance beam. Her fist visible misstep in her astonishing Olympics that includes three gold medals and seven of the most. Reorientation of Christian Taylor won the gold men's troops on Tuesday at Olympic Stadium to win his title from the 2012 London Games and became the first American to win back to back gold since discipline since 1904. Joe Havlinch was a first of the FIFA for two decades to transform its son soccer's governing body into multi billion dollar business and hotbed of subsequent corruption and damaged reputation died at the age of 100 years old. Team USA will face their old friends from Argentina Wednesday in the men's basketball quarterfinals at the Rio Up Olympics. It takes an hour to walk about in I'm gonna Oh Peter Chill News Time is now eleven oh eight on this Tuesday morning and it's time now for traveling and transport on this Tuesday morning and then go on the Tuesday afternoon. Baby! Let's look at MBT alerts. We're on the subway. Orange John's Pitch Bind delays between Ruggles and Ruckberg Cross between today and Katrina until Sunday. On the commuter rail, low line train. The 18, 10, 15 a.m. from Lowell is operating 10, 15 minutes beyond schedule between North Bewick and the North Station. And on the ferries, they are looking good. Alright, looking at highways and byways, we're starting off down in Gadaki, we're 84 eastbound side, back to New London, Hinder Pits again, just around, around 691, 691 westbound side, slow before 84, 84 westbound side, is back to around New Britain, 95 in the northbound side, back to the Guildford stretch, 95 in the northbound side, back to the Football Saber Ground to New London, 95 in the southbound side, back to New London stretch, 95 in the northbound side, it is backed up from 37 in Cranston all the way out to Route 10 in Cranston, headed towards Providence. Mass Packer changes at 91 in Chickpea, it's a little salt. 91 in the northbound side, it is back to around Deerfield stretch. 120 is that bad side, back to Route 3, built it all the way up to Route 2 in Lexington. 
Seven Expressway, South Bad Time, back to the Park on the North Chester, Seven Expressway, North Bad, back to Crazy the North Chester. Route 3 at the North Bad Time, back to the Plymouth Stretch. 93 South Bad Time, back to the Dairy New Hampshire Stretch, 93 the North Bad Time, back to the Dairy New Hampshire Stretch. 93 the North Bad Time, it is back to the Cockroach New Hampshire. Main turn back at the North Bad Time, back to the 202 up in Greymane. Here's a 89 on both ends of Lulso around the K board up in Northern Vermont and A7 on both ends of Lulso around Route 11 up in Champlain, Vermont. And Ottawa 15 is backed up headed towards Montreal in the Canadian border. And how is and Bowie's at Albany are looking good, but in Interstate A1 north of Homer, it's slow on both ends. New York State 3 is slow on Interstate A1 in Syracuse. Peter Child do time is now 11 11 on this. Tuesday morning, going into Tuesday afternoon, and it's time now for a weather report. And check it out, radar, and it shows a lot of rain showers and storms switching from east to Redland, Vermont, switching out to central New Hampshire, with a heaviest band of rain showers switching from Lebanon, New Hampshire, down to the west of Laconia, New Hampshire. All right. Seven. All right. Hazardous weather outlook. Thunderstorms are possible for the late afternoon and evening hours. Some of the storms may be strongly severe with the threats of gusty damage and winds, frequent lightning, and heavy rain. There'll be a risk of localized urban and poor drainage flooding with heavy rain. But day two seven, no as we ever expected at the time. All right, seventy four cars goes like this. Today, Chester shots, that's what's may have to do. Some sort of produce every rate. Puck size carbon eighty five degrees. Cobb will be coming in South Rand. Six miles may have to do chest pages, forty percent new rain for months. Let's say to minute how about possible that's what for tonight. Chester shots at Thunder Sword may have to one AM. Some sort of produce custom with every rate and freak like punch one up to four AM was. Most guys got about 73 degrees, somewhere about 10 miles of gusts and 25 miles on it. Chest pages 30 percent, new rainbow about to the tip quarter to how about possible thunder storms. With a parts of the punk hub at 86 miles, 64 degrees, winds southwest about 8 to 10 miles coming west of the afternoon. With winds gusts and 24 miles by shifting to northward about 5 coming coming to the Wednesday evening for Thursday. Most of the most guys got about 87 miles, 66 degrees, west about 3 to 6 miles an hour for Friday. Most of the punk hub at 85 miles, 64 degrees. Saturday, most of the puck have at 85 about 64 degrees. Sunday, most of the have at 84 degrees. Saturday night, check the shots. That's what most cars got what? 66 degrees, chest page is 30%. And from Monday, check the shots. That's what puts us got at 83 degrees, chest page is 40%. Curly not near its cloudiest guys. It's 82 degrees. Humidity is 60%. And that is going to be it for the Peter Channel. 11 a.m. news report on this. August the 16th, 2016, on a Tuesday morning, going to Tuesday afternoon. Peter was hoping you have a good Monday afternoon, good positive attitude. So you get five o'clock for a five p.m. report. Have a good afternoon.